Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome to another uh, Google Capture the Flag video write-up. Uh, this one I want to show off is the No Big Deal Challenge. Uh, another simple one, 50 points. A lot of people solved it, because, again, it's not that hard. It just took a lot of willpower to actually, like, look through all that stuff. Prompt is, sometimes the answer is immediately obvious, sometimes it's obscured, and find the answer in here, which is just a, a PCAP file. So I have that downloaded. We'll open it up right now. Once I navigate Unity. <laughs> Google. Uh, what am I doing? No big deal. <laughs> Fire this up in Wireshark, because it's just a giant PCAP file once you extract it. So I would... This, this is a big file. Like, I tried to run strings on it to see if there was anything like it would poke out and find, but it took a long time for strings to actually finish because there's just, like so much stuff in here. So I ended up just like poking through in Wireshark, trying to peruse through the packet, see if I found any, anything interesting. I try to export like information. I try to export objects and data. TCP looked like it had some stuff. First couple of first couple of packets had like this hint. It looks like in the data where it says NBD magic. Again, I'm assuming the whole no big deal thing. I have opt. I don't know what that is. And I thought I saw export somewhere. Yeah, export down here. Again, I don't know if you can see this. I'm sorry, but uh. More stuff that I found was uh, this NBD protocol, which I thought earlier, okay, NBD, no big deal, that same hint, NBD magic. I felt like that might have been pretty interesting, so I actually sorted through that in Wireshark, NBD. And I found, while I was looking through here, again, I was just perusing looking at the data, because it looked like some of these had some pretty hefty packets, like they had length and they had data that came with it. So added that as a column. If you don't know how to do that in Wireshark, what you can do, you can right-click on the on the columns. You can go to Column Preferences, and you can like add or remove anything you want in here. You can set up a name for it, determine what type it is, and select like a source port, source address, other information you want to specify. If it's not like in this giant list, you can right-click any part of like an actual. Uh, frame or disassembled piece of information that Wireshark found later on. Like, if you want to add data, you could right-click it and select Apply as Column, and then it'll, it'll get added up here. So, anyway, some of the interesting things I found were in, actually, this packet right here, packet 76. And, uh, I was honestly just perusing through the data section. I was, like, scrolling down through a lot of these, just trying to find out what it had. And in this one, I just, I might have got lucky, I don't know, but this string, like this Q1RGE, blah, 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 that looked very out of place. Because, you know, you get a certain eye for, like, Base64 encoded stuff, and this just looked like a Base64 encoded string to me. So I actually just stole it. I, like, copied it out. Let's see if I can manage to copy it out this time. I had some trouble. <laughs> I literally had some trouble trying to find, the, like, copy this. Okay, copy, value, cool. And now, I'll get in Sublime Text. Whew, okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's copy the hex and Haskey dump as printable text. Okay, cool. So yeah, now we have the base64 string just kind of chilling out. What I can do is we can take that and try and base64 decode it. Decode. And there it is. That was the flag. It was literally just hunting around this giant PCAP, finding that base64 string, and then decoding it. The flag was better FS, better better file system? I don't know. Better better than yours. Whatever. I don't care. We got our flag. But that was just painful to be like hunting through this and to have so little reward. But whatever. It was, it was a simple thing. It was just a matter of, like, looking through, you know, 96,000, 97,000 packets. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, and that's why, like I said, I picked out that NBD protocol. And I think that narrowed the search down to, what, 611. That's that's not a big deal. And again, I just found mine on, like, packet 76. So, <laughs> just a matter of hunting, I guess, and, I don't know, being willing to keep looking for stuff. And just having an eye for the base 64 encoded strings. That's pretty much it, though. That's your flag. Uh, I'm not going to try and put together a script as to scrape that out, because I 
couldn't particularly scrape out any of the data out of that PCAP regardless. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, no big deal. <laughs> Only 50 points. <laughs> Whatever. See you later.